بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم موقع طريق الإسلام يقدم لكم بسم الله The most important questions that we should be thinking about as humans Did we exist by chance? Is there a God? And where did we come from? It's either that we have came from nothing or we created ourselves or something else have created us As far as whether we came from nothing that violate the laws of physics and the law of conservation of energy Nothing comes from nothing and something always comes from something else. Did we create ourselves? It's like that we're saying that we exist and don't exist in the same time. Or it's like saying that our mothers have given birth to themselves. Do you know that the age of our universe is 13 billion years? But the time it takes to create one simple human protein by chance, 634 million billion years. That's the age of our universe multiplied by 45 millions and you still think you came by chance do you know that human beings are made out of 18.5 percent carbon 3.3 percent nitrogen 9.5 percent hydrogen and 65 percent oxygen for an average human being that's about 14 gallons of water 26 pounds of charcoal and three pounds of air if we pour all that in one bag for how many years do we need to shake this bag to come up with a human being? And you still think you came by chance? With all the current technology that we have, we were not able to create a robot that is as perfect and as sophisticated as a human being. With all the technology that we have, we were not able to create a camera closer to the human eye, 576 pixels. With all the technology that we have, we were not able to create a heart closer to the human heart that could pump 7200 liters of blood daily without any complications. With all the technology that we have, we're not able to create kidneys that could work 24-7, filtering 180 liters of blood daily and cleaning human blood from toxins continuously. And you still think you came by chance? Or something else have created you? A creator that once said, Ya ayyuhal nas, durib mathalun fastami'u lah, inna alladheena tad'oona min dunillahi lan yakhluqu dhubaban walaw jitama'u lah. O oh people, listen to this example. You are not able to create one single fly, even if all of you united for this purpose. A creator that once said, "Ma tara fi khalq al-Rahman min tafawud," you will not see faults in the creation of the Most Merciful. A creator that's all powerful. A creator that's all knowing. A creator that unlike his creation, Allah, the Lord of Jesus, Moses, and Muhammad. If someone have given you a million dollar, you'd be thankful for him for the rest of your life. But what about the one who have given you blessings that were worth millions? Shouldn't you worship him? Shouldn't you submit to him? If you have questions about Islam, do yourself a favor and ask a Muslim. Please like us on our Facebook page.